when you think of Ozzie Smith, everybody thinks about Ozzie Smith as being a defensive player. In my mind, Ozzie Smith was a better offensive player his last five years than he was a defensive player. And the one thing that I think that Ozzie will be and should be depicted for as a Cardinal is the home run that he hit to win the game against the Dodgers in the playoffs. Now, here's a guy that has gold gloves coming out of his ears. He's got them everywhere, but that's what I'll remember Ozzie Smith for, not his defense. I remember him for his offense. This one has extra innings written all over it, doesn't it? McGee 0 for 3, and now he's had 4 out of 21, so he has gone sour at the wrong time. As he hangs over the plate, he's not the long ball threat from the left side. Pops it up. That'll be foul ball and out of play. Strike one to Ozzy. 0 Open day in the American League playoffs. They'll play at Toronto tomorrow night. They play Ozzy to the opposite field. Here's the pitch. Swing and a pop foul. Strike two. And He's hard to handle the smoking Tom Needenfuel. He's trying to pull the ball. Needham Viewer is 6'5, 225. Big man from the North Country, Minnesota. First baseman and the third baseman guard the lines. Ozzie with one out. Took a ball just outside. Cardinals have left 10 men on, and they left a lot of men on early. Had a runner at third, nobody out in the first and didn't score. Second and third, one out in the second and didn't score. Smith, Corks went into right down the line. It may go. Go crazy, folks. Go crazy. It's a home run, and the Cardinals have won the game by the score of three to two. The tarp. How could that not be the memorable moment? I mean, you know, uh, I've done so many autograph sessions from 19, since 1985. I've traveled from London to LA, and that's the number one question: How did the fastest guy in baseball get run over by the tarp? And you know, if it wasn't for for the, me being five inches close to the tarp and Terry Pendleton, we were just standing there talking. And you know, it was one of those freak accidents where it grabbed me and knocked me down and knocked me out of the World Series and. Uh, being rookie of the year, you know, first year in the league and uh, so much electricity being tradition and going along with being in the World Series and being in the Bush Stadium and, you know, that year was just a magical moment in my life that, you know, that I give all my, my world to. Another hero came off the bench and delivered an improbable blast. First and third, nobody out the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Way back at the track. It's a three-run home run for Tom Lawless. That is hard to imagine. He had four hits all year. What exactly is a utility player? Well, Madeline, this is someone like Jose Akendo, who's so versatile, the manager can put him anywhere he pleases. Jose Akendo, the secret weapon. Now hurling for the Redbird. In the right field, Okendo. One gone. Okendo throws him out. What a play by Okendo. Yes, Madeline. Jose, can you see, is everywhere. And the pitch is lined in the left field. Here comes Okendo, and he's got it. The jack of all trades, Jose Okendo. 
on behalf of the Cardinal Organization and in recognition of the tremendous accomplishments of Ozzy Smith, Uniform Number 1 is hereby officially retired. Thirty-one RBI. Into left center field. Is it enough? At the track. At the wall. Sixty-three for Big Mac. There it goes. See you later. Sixty-four. There it goes. See you later. Sixty-five. Here's the one-two. There it goes. See you later! 66! Let's see if he can take a lead in setting another one. Fly ball, left field. Number 67. No man has hit more home runs in a single season. High fly ball, line drive, deep center field. Number 68. single season into left field back at the track at the wall historic number 69 oh. in the left field number 70 how much more can you give us big mac number 70 Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to read a poem which I have written for this occasion, after which there will be a special 21-gun fireworks salute. Since this nation was founded under God more than 200 years ago, we have been the bastion of freedom, 
the light that keeps the free world aglow. We do not covet the possessions of others. We are blessed with the bounty we share. We have rushed to help other nations, anything, anytime, anywhere. War is just not our nature. We won't start, but we will end the fight. If we are involved, we shall be resolved to protect what we know is right. We have been challenged by a cowardly foe who strikes and then hides from our view. With one voice we say, we have no choice today. There is only one thing to do. Everyone is saying the same thing and praying that we end these senseless moments we are living. As our fathers did before, we shall win this unwanted war and our children will enjoy the future we'll be giving. Let me tell you, anybody that's ever come to this stadium, you ask them, who brought you here? And they'll remember the first time they came. A brother, father, mother, aunt, and uncle. Everybody that's come, you ask them that question, they'll know their first game. Oh, I remember this, I remember that. It's an unbelievable thrill to see these people enjoy the game the way they do. That's the most fun for me. Well, it has a reputation that's well deserved. If you play in the National League, you hear it over and over again. One of their favorite cities to visit is St. Louis because the fans are not hostile. You know, they're very passionate for the Cardinals, but they appreciate good baseball. And if you're a visiting player and you do something that's outstanding, they'll give you some applause. Um, so that word is out. And then a guy like Mark, who's an American leaguer, he comes over and you hear about it, but till you experience it, especially if you're a Cardinal, yeah, that's, that's an impression that, uh, that stays with you because then all of a sudden you're – you look forward to coming to the park. You look forward to playing. You understand that the passion's there. And like I say, it's always a fair, fair support. You know, it's not we're with you win or tie. You know, if you lose and you try hard, they're still with you. So, uh, you know, they've earned that reputation. They've been that way for years and years. I think a lot of it's a Midwestern mentality, you know, just real basic, very fair, good people. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bush and the Clydesdales.